It was a great sight, and this is something that we can tell our kids and our grandkids. That's right. Florida, the most critical battleground state in the race for the White House, where the economy is the issue. Mr. Romney said, let's let Detroit go bankrupt. There were a million jobs at stake. So I said, no, let's bet on American workers. Let's bet on American manufacturers. We have live team coverage of the president's visit that began in Jacksonville before coming to our community, from his remarks to the Republican response. So we start with Dan Corcoran, live in the Alabama. Dan. Well, Michael and Kelly, the president of the United States is here, and some locals got to see him and his motorcade pull into Manalapan's only hotel, the Ritz-Carlton. The moment they've been waiting for. The president's motorcade arriving in Manalapan at the heavily guarded Ritz-Carlton. I live just down the road, and it's all exciting to see the president. I mean, how often in your life can you see the motorcade go by? Robert Sur is from England, welcoming President Barack Obama to the Palm Beaches. Oh, the flag, of course. I'm very patriotic. Mary Lee Moffitt lives just down the street and holding her American flag, tried to catch a glimpse of Mr. Obama. And I'm a Navy veteran, so I'm here to support the commander in chief. On one side of the street, you have the Ritz-Carlton, barricaded all around with local and federal authorities literally surrounding the building. On this side of the street, Dozens and dozens of spectators hoping to see the president, or at least his motorcade. But just before the president's arrival, these crowds were pushed back, with most people unable to see the president pull in. Throughout the evening, security at the Ritz-Carlton was strengthened, the Secret Service working hand-in-hand -hand with the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office. Throughout the hotel, we're told, metal detectors, armed guards, and a strict rule, no photography. A high-security, high-stakes visit to South Florida, with a sleepover in Manalapan. Could have been anywhere else, but he's here, you know? He's in our area, here to check on the people. Now the president checks out of the Ritz-Carlton early tomorrow morning, and then it's off to Fort Myers and Orlando before leaving the state of Florida. Reporting live in Manalapan tonight, I'm Dan Corcoran, WPTV News Channel 5.